how the guys look today? It was, they were good. We are. We're excited to play. You know, we've had a break. And ready to get back out there. Jeff, how's Walker Beatty progressed over some more time at the tackle position? What do you see from him? Yeah, he's got a future to play there for a while. I mean, he's, he's pretty special. Very athletic. He likes the move. Uh, he has a great understanding of defense from playing it so long. Uh, it's been a really good fit for him. I'm, I'm excited. He's excited about it, honestly. Uh, he could be a, a real staple for us for, you know, the next few years. It's predicted to be a close game. That coin to, it's like a coin toss, basically. What are you expecting from Saturday? That, not that I have been since I saw the schedule. You just don't win as long as those guys have won with that many great athletes and be that well coached with that many facilities and just go away. And those guys understand what it's like. They played their very best game against us last year. I expect they'll do that again Saturday. You guys have uh, Payne Abair on the depth chart at guard. You know, why slot him back in there versus tackle as he's working his way back? Um, we're just really beat up at guard right now. We needed somebody in there. Does he have some good experience with that, or is that a transition for him? Uh, he's, he's played multiple spots before. How about uh, Corey Mayfield? It seems like he's had a pretty strong season to this point. How have you seen him kind of improve from last year to this year? Is there a job that you noticed? Oh, yeah, he's really improved. I mean, he's, he's as good as there is in the league, in my opinion. I think he's a really good corner. He's extremely competitive. Uh, we, we have no problem putting him out there and turning him loose, and he has to do that quite a bit. And we don't. We don't play a lot of coverage. Uh, we, we we try to commit to stopping the run, which everybody knows that too. So it's probably why they burned us on a seventy-five yard post about third play of the game last year. What are those uh, differences for him? Is it just more time doing it, or how has he sort of developed? From yeah, time on task, and he's just gotten better every every day. You know, for three years now, he's just he's a lot like Daydream. He's extremely competitive. You know, they might be a little small. But man, they're competitive. They love the game, and their spirit uh, of competition is—you know—it's unmatched uh, as far as my, my opinion. We're about to bring Osiris in here. It sounds like you know uh, anything that jumps out about his season, or that you would have us ask him about. Um, I, I, one thing I remember about Cyrus is uh, on his official visit, I just got hired. His dad started asking me questions. His dad played at A&M, and he asked me if I knew a, a kid named Richard Whitaker that played on his team because uh, I had coached at Jacksonville, and uh, he knew that. And I, Richard's literally like, you never, you're not supposed to have favorites, right? But like, in my life, I'd say he, he might be my favorite kid I've ever coached, like ever. Uh, and uh, so, I just pulled my phone out. I had just met Cyrus's father, and I FaceTimed Richard, and uh, I knew I had Cyrus at that moment. I thought they might have even been roommates. Uh, I'm not even for sure about that, but I know they were very close teammates for sure. Um, so I, I remember his grandmother, how uh, great of a grandmother he has, family he comes from, what a great program he came from in Atascacita, and they've been playing great ball there for a, a long time, coached very well. and. Um, He's just a winner. He's intelligent. He has character. Uh, he'll be a single-digit guy before he leaves here. A, a lot of those guys on the D-line don't have a lot of the big numbers because you sub so much, but they're pretty consistent, right? Is that a kind of fair analysis of that? You we know? recruit them that way. They, we, they're told up front, like my running backs are, we're going to rotate We're going to rotate them. So their stats might not be as high, but they're going to have great long four-year careers because they're going to stay healthy. And I, I believe that's why they're playing so good right now, because they're they're more fresh now. Uh, so he's he's a winner. I'm a big fan of I'm a big fan of Cyrus. Jeff, uh, basketball gets on the court for the first time tonight. I know Steve Henson started doing kind of a culture pillars thing this year. Oh yeah. Did you? I don't know. Did you talk to the other coaches about that sort of thing? You know, thing? I, I I've become yeah. They always bounce that stuff off of me. All the everybody does in the building. It's very nice of them and. Tell them to go get them Frank Harris at quarterback. And <laughs> it, it works a lot better. What other kind of pieces of advice do you offer? You know, what are those conversations like usually? I don't. Advice would be too strong of a word. Just maybe share some stories and some experiences. But those guys are way better coaches than me. They don't. They don't. They don't need my advice. All right, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it.